Watch just a few years ago, it seems, Austin Mahone began posting videos on YouTube of himself singing. You know what happened? They led to his discovery and they catapulted him to pop music stardom. Now he's writing about his road to fame in the new book, Just How It Happened, My Official Story. Austin, good to see you. Welcome good to back. See you. I'm going to put that picture up again of you at 14 years old when you, oh, that's even younger. Yeah, I was definitely not 14. When you like... look at that picture, what do you think? Um, I can kind of remember when that was taken. Um, I would always go to my grandparents' house and we would just always just have fun and mess around and I would always grab their music equipment and kind of just put it on. When you would sing in the grandparents' living room, which of you felt you had a chance to make it first, you or your parents? Um, I mean, my grandparents definitely for sure. I, I don't really think of, you know, doing any of this at that age. So. You didn't? No, definitely not. When did you realize that, I know, you went around, you handed out flyers, yeah. you posted videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. When did you start to realize that people were noticing you? Um, just when, um, you know, I would get calls from uh, girls and girls' parents saying that they want me to fly out to their birthday parties. And I was just like, what? Like, you want me to come to your house and, like, just hang out? And then that's what I did. And I was like, okay, this is definitely getting way more than just singing on YouTube. Like, it was... Pretty weird. And didn't you have a chance encounter? You, you met Taylor Swift in I did. some kind of a store, right? Yeah, we were in Nashville and uh, we went into this little coffee shop and uh, and the person we were with was saying, you know, uh, famous people come in all the time and you know, you just kind of don't bother them and you kind of see them and I was like, okay. And so uh, Taylor walked in and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Taylor Swift. Like that looks just like her. And they're like, just, you know, just relax, don't go up to her. And so I went up to her anyway. And I was like, hey, I'm a big fan. My name is Austin. Like. I love you. And, and I love you? Yeah. You threw that in? Yeah. And how long after that was it that you were actually opening up for her? Um, probably like two, two and a half years after that. That's it's an amazing crazy. ride. Yeah, it is. It sounds like a weird question to ask you because you're only 18, mm -hmm. but in the four years that this has all been going on, have you made mistakes? Are there things you wish you could of do course. over? I mean, I've definitely made mistakes, but I feel like... I, I feel like I wouldn't really do anything over just because I feel like everything happens for a reason. And I feel like everything that's happened has led up to, you know, the point where I am today. So. But you don't look back at choices you made and think, wow, if I had gone left there as opposed to right, it might be even better. I mean, I, I'm, I've definitely thought about that, but I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm on the right track now. So I'm, I'm not like, you know, dwelling on mistakes I've made. You said something in an interview recently and it caught me. You, you talked about your life and, and in the book, actually, you said, it might be a weird thing to say, but I don't really feel like I have a home. There's no place that feels like the place where I live all the time. Yeah. And, and that made me sad a little bit. That, that Because you've spent so much time traveling around, you don't feel roots anywhere. Oh, I mean, uh, for me, Texas is always like home because that's where I'm from. But I live in Miami now and I have a house there. And so I feel like, you know, every time I'm on the road, like I'm on the road all the time. And I feel like when I'm traveling, I'm, I'm home kind of because I'm, I'm always traveling. But then once I get home, then I kind of feel like I'm on vacation a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's kind of weird. I think one of the nice things about you is that you've also, and I, I don't want to jinx anything, but you've avoided the pitfalls. Oh, yeah. You know, and is that yeah. a conscious effort? You have to work hard on that? You're knocking yeah, metal knocking here? Yeah, knocking wood. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm always just trying to work hard. I'm trying to just, you know, be a good role model and inspire people as much as I can. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just doing what I love to do, pretty much. Yeah, it's amazing. working out well for yeah. you. Thank you. Good to see you, Austin. Good to see you, man. It's Good a pleasure. You. And the book is called Just How It Happened. Yes.